Touchscreen panels around your home to control various devices may seem like a thing of the future, but the fact of the matter is, it's not. To my knowledge, Action Tiles is the first real affordable, user-friendly and reliable system to control your smart devices. Let's break down how it works and how you go about getting started. Now, Action Tiles is a web-based control panel system for smart things. Right now, smart things is the only supported system to work with Action Tiles. But if you ask me, and you know me, they picked the right one to start with. After signing up for an account and pasting your license key, you connect your SmartThings account and then add your location and things. Users can then build an unlimited amount of panels with any combination of thing tiles and a few special tiles like video streams, clocks, and URL shortcuts. Tiles can also be pin protected to secure your smart home monitor or routines or any other pins you want to protect. Panels can be securely shared and unshared with other Action Tiles users, such as family and friends, which is a good way to offer controlled limited permission to those family members and friends. In my opinion, the best part about Action Tiles is that it is web based. Your panels can be viewed on just about any browser you have. A few examples would be tablets, whether they're wall mounted or not, your phone, computer, or a smart TV. The best affordable option for a wall mounted tablet, in my opinion, would probably be the Amazon Fire tablets. They sometimes go for as little as 30 bucks. I'll have links for those and other inexpensive tablets option below. Many users like myself prefer the wall mounted option to have easy access to anything you want to view or control from smart things. Like I said before, you can also have as many or as few things per panel and change the size of most tiles. Panels can be customized further using the panel style tools found in the options menu. The best way I found to create, organize, rearrange, and customize my panels on my tablet is by using my PC while viewing my tablet next to me. Changes take place instantly so I can see if I like it or not. So let's go ahead and create a panel from scratch just so you can see how easy it is. So like I said, I'm gonna use my PC and I'll have my tablet here uh, just so we can see the changes that's being made automatically. So I'm on Chrome uh, browser here on actiontiles.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in and I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Action Tiles on my PC here and log in. So we are going to create a new tile, new panel here by clicking the add panel option and we will call this tutorial two and we'll open it up and press view. So it says this panel is empty, we know that. So on our PC, we're gonna go to our tutorial two and click the little edit pen. And we're going to add a tile set. We'll call this tile set one for now. Then from here we can add our things. Our things, routines, mode alarm, media, URL shortcuts, panel shortcuts, clock, blank tile. Blank tile is good for filling in gaps in various places. So we will add a clock for sure, and we can see these changes being made instantly on our tablet. We will add a bunch of things here. I'm just gonna pick random things for the sake of this video. I'm literally just gonna go randomly here. Make sure I get a few bulbs, a few, uh, good variety of what I have. Get a few um, RGB lights motion sensors. Now since this is going off of SmartThings, whatever SmartThings is telling us through our app or action tiles through the, their system, that's what will be viewed on the panel. It's not action tiles actually doing any of this really. Okay, I think that's good for that. So. We can also group these in different tile sets, but for now I'm just gonna leave these. So all of our things that we just added are now on our panel. 
and we can uh, use them right away. I'm gonna go ahead and also add a few routines. I'll add um, a mode routines and the smart home monitor options. And I'll throw in a, the Christmas routine by itself. Also go ahead and throw in a URL shortcut to thetailortech.com, of course. And we'll throw in a panel shortcut to, let's say, all lights, because we, in case we want to throw all lights in there and be able to access that to another panel. And we'll throw in a media uh, GIF as well. Let's check out the precipitation for Northwest Indiana. Okay, so as you can see, all these changes were made instantly. We can see what's going on, but generally, that's not the way you want it to look. So we can go into panel style. We can change the size. We're on a tablet here, so let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to medium. It's a much better size for us. Uh, we can change the tile header and the content size. We're gonna leave that right now. I like the cobalt high visibility because when a light is on, it will show up darker, but they all have their own high visibility options. I just like the blue. Go back out of the panel style and uh, we will go into the options and we're gonna do arrange tiles. So this will allow you to change the order. I'm gonna put the clocks somewhere in the center there, as well as the all lights at the end and the precipitation GIF somewhere in the middle. Call that good for now. Hit okay and then everything will change the way you want it to. So we'll go back to the panel builder. I wanna go into the clock and I'm gonna change the size of the clock. I generally like it to be a little bit bigger so we can see it further away. So I'm gonna do one by two. And like I said, most of these tiles themselves can change the size. So let's go into a light. Maybe we want a light in a specific room to be larger. So let's click on Ashton's lamp. And of course we can change also the, the uh, icon to fit what it is. So it's a lamp, we're gonna call it a lamp. And we can change the name also if we want it to. Say if this tablet is in Ashton's room, we don't need to call it Ashton's lamp, we could just call it corner lamp to be more specific. And we're gonna change this to a larger size. There's also tile intention options there, you can see that. So now we have a large corner lamp. That helps, everyone's usability is gonna be a little bit different. So guys, as you can see, this is so easy. We just created a panel in like five minutes and uh, obviously some of these titles might need to be changed. We can change the icons. We can change the order. We can add, we can take some off, but that's, that's basically as easy as it is. It is so simple. People are always asking how you get it set up. It's really easy. Go to actiontiles.com, register, sign up. Go to actiontiles.com on your tablet and do what I just did, and that's it. Also guys, a quick tip. If you do use the uh, Amazon Fire tablets or even these Android tablets for that matter, the best browser that you can use is called Fully Kiosk Browser. It's about three bucks for the pro version, but it really is worth it. What it allows you to do is use your front-facing camera as a motion sensor. So when you go up to it on Android tablets, it will wake from the lock screen and allow you to see your action tiles panel right away. Now if you're on a Fire tablet using Fire OS, it does not allow you to get past the lock screen. So what you will have to do is within the Fully Kiosk browser, use the screensaver option instead of a wake on motion option. And it will wake from your screensaver when you get close to it. So for the screensaver, you could have it set as a black, so it looks like it's off, but it's actually just displaying black. But what I do is do use something called a DAC board, and you can enter a URL as your screensaver. And my DAC board is our wedding photos in the background, as well as it shows a clock and the weather. It's actually pretty cool, you can check that out. I'll leave a link to DAC board down below also. So let's go into the panel that we just made a little bit more in depth so I can show you a few different things. So if we have a something that shows the weather, obviously we see that right away. 
These are the default switch options, uh, just the sliding switch, but we can change that as we can see with this lamp. And the motion sensors, it shows this, and if, it, if there are, is motion, it will light up blue like the rest of these. If we want to show all of our routines, we can click on that and choose from all of our routines there. Also the uh, pin protection, I didn't show you that. So we're gonna go into panel settings and enable the panel pin code. So we'll enter our password, set our code, one, two, I don't think I did that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have the pin code enabled. So we'll go back and say we want to pin protect our smart home monitor here. Otherwise, you could just click on it and arm or disarm it. Say if a burglar walked in the house, they could just disarm the system just like that. So what we'll do is we'll go into smart home monitor, tile options, tile security, and we will pin protect it. Save, let it reload. Now when we click on the smart home monitor, it's gonna bring up the keypad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're able to arm and disarm it. And that can be done with any tile you want. So also our, another panel shortcut, we sent one to all lights. So that'll bring up this other panel that I made previously to all lights. And you could have another shortcut here back to a other panel that you have. I didn't set one for this new one that we just made obviously, but I could say back to living room. And this is the one in the living room. Obviously it looks a little strange because it's a different size tablet, but you get the idea. So I could go into more detail about these panels, but I think you get the idea and you see how easy it truly is. So I've been personally using Action Tile since, well, actually before it was even created via its predecessor, Smart Tiles, at least over a year now. So don't take this next comment lightly. Action Tiles is my favorite home automation add-on so far. It has literally transformed the way me and my family use our system. It even helped my wife hop on the smart home wagon by making her own panel for her iPhone. Now, Action Tiles isn't paying me to say any of this. When I see a great product, I feel like I have to get the word out there. That's what YouTube's about, right? Using the link down below and the coupon code displayed on the screen down below, you can get 10% off your license key, which right now is only $28.99. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.